Testing, testing, one, two, three. Hey guys, it's Paige, and today's video is going to be a glamorous makeup tutorial, extra dramatic. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. Let's go! So the first thing I'm going to do is clip my new fringe out of the way. If you have a fringe, comment, I have a fringe. Now, as you can see, my hair is clipped back and we are ready to move on to the makeup. The first thing I'm going to do is take my Radiance Revol Concealer by Bojwa and I'm going to dot it all over my face and then I'm going to blend it out with my Technique makeup brush, it's a foundation brush and it, yeah we are going to blend it so that it's blend, blended, splendid blended. <laughs> so yeah, right. Now I'm going to also add it under my eyes because I haven't been getting a lot of sleep recently so my eyes have lo been looking really gnarly. Okay. <laughs> There's me being goofy. Next I'm taking my W7 Candy Blush and adding it to add more colour to my face that the concealer took away. So yeah. Next I'm taking my PS Concealer Palette and I'm going to contour with it because I don't have a contour palette right now um, so I use this one instead and I just use the darker colours to add a bit of shape to my face and yeah, not too orange, not too grey. Now I'm taking my powder brush and a Max and More powder, it's a loose powder and <laughs> it went everywhere so I had to be careful with it. But we're just putting it all over our face so yeah next we're gonna do my eyebrows this is my favorite thing to do I take my W7 Mighty Mattes palette and a PS PS Pro angle brush and I just follow the natural shape of my eyebrows um, so yeah and just don't make them look too blocky too thick you just want them to be perfect Next I take a foundation, it's the Match Perfection one by Rimmel, Rimmel? Rimmel. and I'm also going to take a very small brush and use it to define and clean up my eyebrows, just around the edge and as you can see it looks really pretty and it makes them look way better. Running down to the ribs, I take away to the dark side, yeah. As you can see I like singing. Next I'm taking my Dusk Till Dawn palette by W7 and I'm taking this purple colour as you can see and I'm going to use it to define my outer V on my eye and it's a really pretty purple shade and it's really pigmented as you can see. It's like the purple from the James Charles palette. Next I'm taking the red colour from it on the sort of flatter brush and I'm adding it in my crease to make it more defined and to make it look a little bit more dramatic. So as you can see my eyeshadow is almost done, we just have to have a touch of sparkle. I'm using my strobe kit by Technique and I'm adding it onto my eyelid um, to add a bit of shine and then I'm adding the powder over the top of the cream one so it's extra shiny and as you can see that glow is slaying. Now I'm taking my Makeup Gallery Eyeliner and I'm going to use it to do a dramatic cat eye with two little tails at the end, like it's got two flicks almost, like just at the end and it looks really cool in my opinion, really cool. Next I'm going to take my Ardell Lashes, the individual lashes in the length medium and my Eye Lure, eye lure? Um, makeup glue, no eyelash glue <laughs> and I'm just going to add Whilst it's drying on the first lash, I'm going to add my Absolute Lashes um, Mascara um, and then by the time I added it, it will be dry enough to put on the first one and then I'm just going to do the other three as well. So I'm going to do three on each eye because I feel like that's a good amount, not too many and not too little and it looks really nice and I think it just adds more natural effect to my eyelashes and makes them look really long. Next I'm going to add the cream um, highlight in my strobe kit and I'm going to put it on my cheek bones 
as you can see and as you can see that glow on its own is already slaying the game but we're going to add some powder over the top to make it extra um, bright and strobe so yeah and I'm also going to add it to my nose next I'm going to do my lips so I'm going to start off with some Carmex lip balm because it's my favourite one and I'm just going to put it all over my lips and I really like it how it is then I'm going to take my red Max and More lipstick and I'm going to put it on but I'm not going to overline my lips too much because we don't want to look like a clown you know we still want to look good but I'm just going to overline my lips a bit to make them look big because I have really small lips in real life and as you can see we sort of look like Miranda Sings so we don't want that so we're going to tone down this red colour by adding a brown from my old My Amats palette the one that sort of got all um, like gross and I'm just going to take the really dark brown and I'm just going to dot it on my bottom lip and then I'm going to blend it with my finger into the red as you can see it's a more um, dramatic sort of purple red and it's really nice and you can get the rest off your finger on a cardboard and don't eat it it doesn't taste very nice so <coughs> I don't really recommend doing that next I'm taking this insta girl um like pink lipstick that I got from Primark well my mum got it from Primark and I just add it over the top for more definition and I think it looks really pretty but we want to add it and make it dramatic so I'm going to add some liquid highlighter from Primark it's the dusk one and I'm going to put a little bit on my finger and I'm just going to blend it in to make it look extra glossy and just shiny overall because we want it to look really really pretty and in my opinion it makes it look so slaying and really nice and I really really enjoy wearing it so yeah so yeah that's the whole lip look and that's pretty much about it for this tutorial all we have left to do is undo my hair and have my fringe out again and then that is my final glam makeup look this is the finished look i think it's absolutely gorgeous and it's perfect for any night out or any just any event really um there's a close-up of the lips i really like how they turned out there's a close-up of the eye makeup i think it's absolutely gorgeous and my eyeliner and here's just a few scenes of me being goofy so yeah guys thank you for watching and i'll see you next bye i'll see you next time remember to follow my instagram tiktok and twitter that at page summers 198 and also buy my merch there's a link in the description thank you guys so much for watching i love you all